me, type me in the chat, and I'm going to bring you on over. You have to have your video on. So if you are, you know, you got to make sure you're dressed and, you know, halfway presentable. <laughs> No, no, no wardrobe mis problems, right? No. <laughs> so you got to type in the chat me or raise your hand. I found somebody here, okay. Ricky and Emily Evans. I'm going to bring them over. Ricky and Emily Evans. And uh, you got to make, you got to unmute yourself guys and turn your camera on. You guys there? Yeah, sorry, I had to open my laptop and so everything would come on. <laughs> I have a 55 inch TV that I use as my monitor. Oh, wow. so do you have a webcam or you? Yeah. There yeah. we go. I'm in the office. It's Ricky Evans. With a doctorate degree. <laughs> Ooh, I got one back there too. <laughs> no, that's uh, on the wall somewhere. All right, this is this is a rare opportunity. There we go. There's my real office. <laughs> All right, that looks better. This is a rare opportunity to do a role play with the one and only Claude Diamond. So do you want to be the seller or the investor? Right? <laughs> I get to choose. Yes. What do you want? Uh man, I'm like super new. So uh I, so I've I've been texting a lot of realtors today because I've went through the Zillow uh, for rents. So most of them are realtors. And so I have about six offers right now that I need to send out. Wow. Nice uh, go for you, man. man. Nice going. So good for how, you. How about this? Um, you'll be the, uh, Claude will be the investor. All right. Ricky, you will be the property manager realtor. Okay. That's that, and you've listed this rental property. And uh, Claude is interested. He, Claude, you sent Ricky a text. Hey, I saw this nice house. You know, would you be interested in maybe selling it or something? And, and Ricky calls me up. Um, well, Ricky responds to the text. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. And so you call Ricky. Hello, Rick. Hello, hello Ricky. Hi, this is Claude, the greedy investor. How are you? I got your text. You guys sure are greedy. Why are you calling my phone again? I'm so my fifth call of the day is it really is that what you would say <laughs> um so so i'm i'm the person trying to rent the property no you you're selling me i'm an investor what? sell me something oh, okay i'm trying to sell you why you should do the deal um some no, 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 no. Go ahead. i'm sorry rick ricky you're the realtor property manager okay that's what i thought okay he's calling me to do to yes do. yes yes okay oh okay so i'm looking for a deal yeah, ring, yes. ring. Say hello, Ricky. Hello, this is Ricky. Hi, Ricky. I'm Claude, the greedy investor. How are you today? I'm fantastic. How are you? Um, I my goldfish died. You know how it is. Uh, Goldie was part of the family for 20 years, and one day we just found him floating up. We just did a little service in the uh, to, in the toilet and everything. But, you know, it's it's just been one of the. <laughs> I do use humor in my. Uh, I love that. I love that. That's great. <laughs> I mean, people always say, gee, how you doing? Oh, it's been a horrible day. The goldfish died. <laughs> okay. I'm actually going to write that down. So it's actually awesome. <laughs> um, hey, Ricky, do you have, uh, I'm looking, I'm looking for a property, uh, cash or terms. I can do a deal today. Do you have anything that I'd be interested in to do uh, that we could do work on today? Do you have any motivated sellers who are stuck with a property or behind in payments or motivated I, I, to do actually, something quick? Well, I got a guy, um, he has two duplexes, they're, they're by UTA, uh, but one of the duplexes uh, was an air, half of it was an Airbnb, another half he was doing long-term rental on, and he's, uh, he's trying to dump everything to get more into industrial commercial stuff and get out of the residential. Did you hear that? I did, but was there a question? Always end in a question. That way you stay in control. You made a statement, okay? You want you want to control the conversation. Claude, would you be interested in that? Or is that something? Uh, I okay, I got you. Sorry, I'm not trying to micro. I'm not trying to so micro. Would that be something you'd be interested in? You know, maybe. How would I make money on a deal like that? Uh, man, it's right by UTA, a hot college 
you know, and uh, lots of students. So I think it'd be easy to get your rent. Um, you could, would it you be know, break even open? or would it be, pro I'd be very interested in it if I could make, I love college towns and college rentals. In fact, I have several like that. What, how much do you think I could possibly make per month on this property? How much could you make? I think the, the owner right now makes, you know, a thousand a month on each side. So for my investment, would I still be making a thousand a month? Cause I'm very interested. Yeah, I think we could probably work that out. You think? If the terms are right, I'd have to go to the, the you know, the owner and, and find out. I mean, what are you thinking? I'm thinking if I could make a thousand a month, I'd be very interested in making a commitment on this deal. Okay. Well, let me, Close let me, uh, Close. Let me send you my Close let it. me send you my email so you can get me an offer as quick as possible and I'll get over I'll get it to him today. Okay. Get a get a do a do a use the word Claude imagine for a moment or suppose I'm going to I'm going to call up the owner. I'm going to fight like hell to get you the terms you want. Suppose for a second I call you back later today. Is 4 or 4:30 good for you? And I can get you an offer that will uh, that we can show that you'll be making somewhere in the area of seven fifty to a thousand a month. What would you say to me next? What would I say to you next? Yeah, what I just said. I was trying to. You're going to close me now and get that commitment up front with a secondary appointment, rather than let me go on the witness protection program. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah so I'm, you set a time would, frame. Would, 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 would three thirty or four thirty be better for you? I can do 4.30 you know, on Zoom or, or, or Skype or something. Oh, so you want to talk on, on you want to see me live? Oh, yeah, because you can't come because of COVID-19. Yeah, I actually have a Zoom account. Let me send that to you as well. So 4.30 would work for you? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I'd love to see you and meet you. And that'd be great. Do you think you can okay. get me that thousand? Can you get me that thousand a month? Yeah, I think we can work that out. Let me pencil you in for 4.30. Is there anything, is there any reason why you wouldn't be able to be on at 4.30? No, no, I'll definitely be on. I'm a man of my word. You know that, right? Okay. Are you, do you need to bring a partner on or your wife? I mean, who else would make that decision? Just oh, you? No, no, my wife, uh, boy, is this a, this is a fast and a, a fantasy. My wife lets me make all these big decisions. <laughs> he looks over his shoulder. <laughs> 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 uh, use the word you get a commitment from me though a solid mm -hmm. say claude imagine for a moment or let's uh, pretend i can i'm going to fight like hell and i'm going to get this for you and i call you back at 4 30 suppose i can get you something around 750 to a thousand a month positive cash flow what would you say to me next go ahead do that to me get a commitment okay. Imagine for a moment Beautiful. that I could get you the seven fifty to thousand a month. What do you say to that? I think I think we possibly maybe could have a deal. Possibly maybe or for sure. If you can get that for me, you've got a deal. All right, Claude, I'm gonna make it happen just for you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Call in our office and uh, I got you at 4.30. I'm gonna work on that deal and I'll talk to you then. Give him a round of applause, everybody. That was great. Nice going, Ricky. Thanks. Nice going. Do you see the difference by getting those strong commitments up front with a hypothetical? Yeah, I'm used to being on the other side. So I had to kind of think on the, 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 the realtor side of things. I'm used to being the guy trying to convince them, you know, but it makes more sense to me because I have to be the guy, get, you know, hooking them and pulling them in that this is a good deal for them. I just talked to Gavin when you first started, Joe, I was talking to Gavin on uh, Voxer and we were going back and forth and it was like, basically they would normally like, if you're, they're trying to rent it, they'd get one month's rent, you know? So you, you, you basically can incentivize them. Hey, if you can find more deals like this, you know, I can do these bang, bang, bang for you, you know? Yeah. So, How many properties did? did a, go ahead, Joe. I'm sorry. I was gonna say Ricky did a great job. Bunch of people in the t comments are saying, good job, Ricky. Great yeah. job. Way to go. You did real good. <laughs> Ty likes my witness protection program. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, you ever get something? I love that. How important I love that. is it? How important is it to get strong commitments within the same time frame? 
when you're working. That's called reciprocity. I can do all this for you. I'm going to fight like hell. I'm going to talk to my investor. I'm going to restructure the deal and everything. Uh, if, I'm, if, if I can do all that for you, could you meet with me on camera at 4.30 today? Could you do that for me? That's called reciprocity. It's a very strong, very powerful psychological trigger. You're giving up something that you know you were going to do anyway, but you're always getting something in return. What do you want from this guy? A hard meeting, a follow-up meeting. Mm -hmm. And even better, on camera. I, I normally ask people, I'll say, hey, Ricky, you don't have an iPhone, do you? Yes. Oh, you know, how about we do a FaceTime call? I'd love the pleasure of meeting you, seeing your family and the 38 kids and and everything. I, I got to have some more kids, obviously. To <laughs> talk, talk to Joe. <laughs> he's, he's an expert. He, he mentors in that area. Yep. <laughs> I, I, love, uh, I love that because that's, that's definitely – a hard commitment on the, um, the video. I'm telling you, this COVID-19 is changing the way we're going to do business and everything. I mean, my wife teaches group fitness, so she's been doing the Zoom calls and teaching her students from home. You know, she doesn't need a gym anymore. Yeah. It's crazy. Right. But, it's but not I like that commitment, though, that commitment of, do you have an iPhone? Let's get on Zoom. I have Zoom. Let's get on Zoom. Let's talk face-to-face. -face. Yeah. That's, that makes it real to that person in their mind. It's now real. Hey, um, Ricky, real quick, Linger. Is that the worship conference, Linger? Yeah, my, sir. My wife and I went there like three years ago but when it was in uh, Dallas, it's Texas. Still, yeah, it's still it's still the same church. Uh, that's my wife's home church. We we go to Watermark with the Shanes, yeah. put it on. So um, we serve there every year. Oh, it's, a, it's just, such a cool added, conference. Yeah, I just had it a few, a few, I guess a month or month and a half ago. It was. Oh, cool. We if wanted to go. Food, we almost did. If you get food, I'll be the one, one of us one serving you. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks, Ricky. How to eat. Hey, thank you, Joe. It was fun. You're, you're great, Ricky. Send me, yeah. Ricky, right. send me an email. Let me send you a gift package, a, a, a sales package or something for free. Okay. Just because you were so – I'll tell you what. I'm going to send you a $1,000 package for free just because you were brave enough to come on here. Well, awesome. I appreciate it, Claude. Thank you. Men mentor at Mac.com. Just send it to me and I'll get it right to you. All right. Hey, awesome. Thanks, Ricky. We'll see you. Thank you. So cool. Thank you, Claude. How can yeah. people get a hold of you? I mean, you've got uh, one of the best courses on books and books on sales. How can people uh, get a hold of you? Um, just Google Claude Diamond. Go to my website. I got a free book there. Uh, Ungut Sales. It's a, I sell it all day long on Amazon and on my web. I'll give it away for free. There's a little box, ClaudeDiamond.com, and I'll give it away for free. I, I, uh, but you have to put in the box, I love Joe McCall. Yes. If you put, I love Joe McCall, I'll send you a free book nice. on my webpage, ClaudeDiamond.com. Joe, thank you. I, I didn't mean to monopolize your show here, it was, but it's always fun to hear you. This worked out great because no, just everybody's kind of quiet today. Not too many questions were submitted. Um, one question here from Ryan that maybe you can help me with, Claude, because you're a recovering attorney. Um, he says, uh, th this kid is uh, 17 years old and he's doing deals. Um, and he wants to know, can I still do deals if I'm not 18 yet? Why not? Well, the only thing is he's not the age of majority. And so contracts are not binding with people under um, is it 18, 18 or 21? It depends on the state, Yeah, I, I believe. Um, so the contracts are not binding. So there might be some people. Um, but as a 17-year-old, he can hire a represent. Maybe one of his parents or a family member um, can sign the contract for him. Maybe he can, have a, he can hire an attorney uh, to do the, do the contracts for him. Um, yeah, so there's, always, there's always, a, and between a wink and a nod, how many, if he looks older than his age, maybe the question will never even come up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I remember Wendy Patton. You know Wendy Patton. Oh, Wendy's wonderful. Where she has she a been? story. Like, I haven't heard from her in a while. Where's she, what's she up to? She's, she owned um, a couple title companies. I think she sold one of them. So now she's only okay. has one. She owns a couple different Keller Williams brokerages and um, offices and <laughs> Um, does a lot of traditional real estate stuff. She's really deep into uh, in Keller Williams and doing real re really well in Michigan. And she runs a uh, a RIA up there. Wonderful. Yeah. She, she wrote a wonderful that. book. I think about yeah. 
15, 20 years ago, on lease purchasing and creative real estate. An excellent book. It's a really, really good book. I recommend it all the time to folks. Yeah. So cool. Um, guys, go check out Claude. Just go to ClaudeDiamond.com and um, check out his YouTube videos. Can Hopefully. you guys see that snowstorm out there? It That's is crazy. blasting snow out here right now. Wow. And you just got back from San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we, we just figured we're in a little mountain town, ski area town. I think we have uh, 125 people living here right now because the ski area is closed. And I figured this is the safest place to be. Wow. We, have no, we have only two incidences of the virus in a county the size of Rhode Island. Wow. Um, you know, so it was, a, it was a smart move. To, well, we loved that ranch, C Lazy U. If you guys want to check it out, just the letter C, Lazy U ranch it's incredible it's beautiful i'd love to go again sometime and we'll, we'll be sure to stop by oh yeah give us a call the, and devil's thumb ranch is nearby too which is a a, a billionaire bought this ranch and made it into a five-star ranch and you probably drove past it on the way out there oh yeah it's called devil's thumb ranch and okay it's just magnificent oh it's um, so beautiful the drive from interstate 70 to winter park and past Route just 40. incredible Absolutely. Oh, wow. Joe, thank you so much for letting right. me hog your audience here and everything. You're, you know, you guys are so lucky. This is one of the few gentlemen, one of the few decent guys in this real estate business. Listen to him. You'll learn a lot. Joe, All best right. to you and the family, man. We'll see you, Claude. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. So